All right, Shalom. Uh, before I start, let me give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakhak Rash, the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, <laughs> Wa'akwath, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. Another video through the Spirit, Brother Malak from GMS Detroit. Man, y'all, I didn't even make this video. I, I I had no intention on even doing this because I this gonna be real short because I got another video I was on the way to doing, and as I crack open the gram, you know, working my way to what I was supposed to get to do, I come across this sloppy stance. You know, somebody says she walked like Woody from Toy Story. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, looking, uh, uh, uh sir, ma'am. Um, you know, guys and girls looking, uh, what they say she look like? She looking like Mahomes' little brother. Hold up. Who, who, uh, somebody, uh, who, uh, who, who brother they say she look like? Uh, uh, what's Jackson Mahomes? Yep. Jackson Mahomes at looking at, you know, I'm sitting there, look, I'm like, man, <clears throat> do y'all think Sodom and Gomorrah was a joke? Do y'all think that Sodom and Gomorrah is a myth? Y'all just straight up don't believe in the scriptures, huh? And here it is, this, this same thing will say, I just want to thank God for this award. You know, when she's getting a, getting a trophy medal or something, you know, God blessing me and my family. Y'all think the Heavenly Father is a punk, up, uh, uh, you know? Y'all think, think the Heavenly Father is a joke out here? Y'all gonna play with the Lord. You gonna play with the Lord. You just got out of prison. You think, you know, Russia using a fucking gulag. About to be in that bitch playing Tarkov and Daisy. And you, <laughs> you back to the States and you you still, you ain't learn, huh? You ain't learn, huh? Y'all about to learn, man. There's a reason why fire is coming, y'all. There's a reason why fire is coming again. There's a reason why fire is coming again. So not only that, so I get to scrolling on the things, on the things account, you know, they got a book coming, talking about coming home, you know, big old bitch, damn near tall as the plane getting out. And I'm sitting there looking, I'm like, wait a minute, this motherfucker got a, this motherfucker is in a relationship. And I was, I was like, wow. I was like, wait a minute. Okay. So let's do some investigating, man. Let's do some investigating, man. This thing looked like a dude. But I was like, you know, I was like, oh. And here we go, y'all. And here we fucking go. You zoom in. That's why I don't deal with a nigga woman. Just straight up, bro. The nigga woman uh, be a lesbian folks. she listen to a man. Um, this shit is astronomically demonic. Satanism. Look at this. This is Satanism. If you was walking down this golf course and seen them from 50 feet away, you would think that this is some uh, abnormally tall man with his, you know, black job of the hut woman. Uh, <laughs> she's not that big. I'm just talking shit, right? But then you get in close. You're like, hey, wait a minute. Something's not right. Something's not right here. Something's not right here at all. You keep going. Mm, mm, mm. You know what, y'all? Mm, 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 mm. See, y'all, they, 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 they think the Heavenly Father uh, don't got no bite to the bark. But they're about to find out. Everybody in this world's about to find out. Second Peter 2. And five, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that should live, unto those that after should live ungodly. Okay, so the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah was supposed to be an example, uh, as it said. Um, so like as I said to those that live ungodly but these people don't care they think that you know what they're doing is okay and permissible it's love you know me even doing this video y'all I could get my channel taken down for bullying 
you know we're mean right this is inordinate this is a inordinate affection as you all have seen and people who partake in that style of living will not survive what's coming okay matter of fact inordinate you these motherfuckers is about to be destroyed all right uh let me get actually let me get um What's that scripture? It shall not make it. Okay. First Corinthians six and nine. For no, for uh, slack it. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. All right, you people who partake in uh, now this mentions various sins in general, but there are several sins that are highlighted here that are going to apply. All right, uh, now adultery is literally, uh, you know, a man sleeping with another man with another man's wife, or a woman sleeping with any man outside of her husband, outside of her marriage. All right, effeminate applies to a male taking on women's tendencies, uh, homobotyl tendencies. All right. And then you have nor abuses of themselves with mankind, which you can use to apply to women. Women doing things because you can apply it to both men and men, uh, men and women, men being with men and women also with women. You are misproperly using yourselves with another person. You are not supposed to have intimacy with someone of the same gender it is anatomically incorrect and imp Im impossible to produce life all right without the devil's technology so this type of living is not to be praised glorified or idealized and they keep showing it this looks like a tall yellow nigga tatted up but then when you zoom in close, you realize it's not. And look how happy she is. When the last time you seen the grinders? So they're married. She got her last name. When the last time you seen a black woman that happy in front of her black man face? Zero. Turn this shit up. One second. Shit, I guess the shit don't got volume. Shit, I don't know. Hey, babe. <laughs> Vogue, I would love to introduce you to my amazing wife, Sherelle Greiner. I really cannot believe that this is happening, but we're going to the Met. Just have this exposure uh, means a lot. Be in front of the, the biggest camp. Y'all, this is, this is utter confusion. This is why Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. This is why Pompeii was destroyed. This is why America will be destroyed. One of, amongst many reasons, right? got man's clothes on scriptures tell you not to do that everybody just does the exact opposite of what the bible says and will sit here and say you know i just love god i want to thank god y'all think the heavenly father is a fucking joke y'all think the heavenly father won't wipe out everybody on this bitch got they little punk ass little hand clap look at this look at this y'all think that y'all think the heavenly father is a is a joke huh they're proud in their style of living. But that style of living will have a recompense. Isaiah 3 and 9. The shore of their countenance doth witness against them. They declare their sin is Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul. For they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Perfect. Hey, these people, they're proud of their style of living. But guess what? They have rewarded evil unto themselves. What's... What's that evil that's coming? Their judgment. Their utter destruction. That's what's coming to them. And it's well deserved. It's well deserved. They hee hee in and ha ha in like shit's cute. And it's not cute. Ain't nothing funny. Ain't nothing cute. Y'all gonna have to be burned with fire. Y'all gonna have to be burned with fire up in that camp. All right. That shit, I seen that. I was like, oh, okay. It's, it's funny now. Y'all just... Mark, it's funny. He he's and ha ha's. He he's 
and ha ha's. Yep. Look up some of the now you just type in the word Sodom. You look up some of the scriptures surrounding it, right? And you get to see the mind of the Heavenly Father. He wasn't happy with them folk. Okay, Deuteronomy 29 and 23. It says, And that whole land thereof is brimstone and salt and burning, that it is not sown nor beareth, nor any grass groweth therein, like the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, Adma and Zeboam, which the Lord overthrew in his anger and wrath. Okay? So, a hey, throughout the law, the Heavenly Father is reminding us, you know, not to allow our sons to be sodomites, not to allow our women to be doing things uh, that are opposite of their nature. Least we turn into a land similar, and the Heavenly Father brings upon us a similar judgment. Well, that's what America has popularized and pushed throughout the world. So what's going to have to happen? That judgment, nigga. That judgment is going to... Y'all think the Heavenly Father is playing. Y'all think the Heavenly Father is a joke. Y'all think he won't kill everything in front of you. Everyone that you love. You about to find out. You people about to find out. Yeah. Y'all about to fucking find out. I'm just, I was, I seen that, I was like, hmm. Yeah. Let me see. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, we'll get that Matthew. We'll get that Matthew. Um, Cause I, I read that one in Peter already. Boy, y'all. Uh... Okay, yeah, yeah. Actually, Jew, we'll get that. Okay, yeah. This is good stuff. See, that's why certain times, y'all, when you can't think of a particular scripture, just type in that word, and all kinds of scriptures um, come up around it. So let me go get that Matthew first. Matthew ten and fifteen. All right, it says. Uh, Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the judgment than for that city. All right. Now this is uh, Shai prophesying, you know, back in the day, you know, several thousand years ago when he was here. He was letting Jake know, you know, you niggas are so wicked that even, you know, <laughs> y'all, y'all become more wicked than ancient Sodom and Gomorrah. And in today's time, who does this apply to? America, the daughter of Babylon, the mother of all harlots. Uh, what is that? Uh, Mystery, Babylon, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of all harlots and abominations of the earth. This place has become more wicked than anything. And who's helped in that? You niggas. You niggas have assisted in that. Because you glory, our people popularize trends. Esau Edom uses you niggas to popularize trends. trends. You niggas get money and you glory in it. You glory in the wealth and the fame you receive and in partaking in the particular sin. That's why you're going to be destroyed. And the people who don't have a problem with that sin, Romans covers that too. Oh, it doesn't affect me. I let them do what they want. Oh, well, you know, it's good. People can have love. And no, no, no. What does Romans say about that? Romans 1. Let's get, um, well, yeah, because y'all ain't, y'all ain't getting, y'all ain't escaping either. Uh, let me see. Where's that verse at? Where's that verse at? Who had, uh, pleasure. Well, I ain't doing it. Oh, no, no. Let them be, nigga. Man, why niggas hating? You know, he's fucking, they be, you know, nigga. You know how niggers talk. Hey, I'm like Murph now. Niggers, man. I'm going to just start saying, N mm. <laughs> man, y'all, me. Man, shut up. All right, Romans 1. And, um, hey, 26. Just, hey, to cover her, to cover these bases. It says, for this cause, Yahweh gave them up unto a vile, unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. So literally, so women are the people say, well, the Bible don't say nothing about lesbian. Yes, it does, you fucking scumbag. Shut up. Man, penis is designed for vagina. Vagina is designed for penis. End of discussion. And there's even particular rules you must follow in that. Okay? Jumping down to verse 32 now. It says, Who knowing the judgment of Yahweh, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Okay, so you have those who actually do it. <clears throat> and then you have those who, you know, 
might not do it themselves, but they have pleasure in the shit. You just what's that? What's that phrase? Uh, not a culprit. Uh, guilty by association, ass niggas. If we all in a car and one nigga running the bank and come out and say, "Man, gun it, take off." We all in the car. We all getting going to jail if we get caught. Everybody in this mug got to burn. All right. If you not, if you don't have an issue with this, right? And I'm, I'm not saying you know, brothers. You know, obviously we know. You know, we some of us. Hell, I got a one of my blood siblings. Uh, several, you know. Well, not my, one of my blood siblings is a, a Zabati boy, but I have many family members that are, you know, or I'll say several that I know of that participate in that. Uh, I'm not telling you to go run up on them and try to take their heads off, but obviously we don't condone that bullshit. We don't condone it. We not agreeing with it, and we speak out against it when we prophesy. But you have people in this world who, you know, I'm gonna always love you. You oh no, nah. hell no. Nah. And that's the spirit that America tries to have you in. You know, well, just don't say nothing negative. No, fuck that. Fuck that. They gonna be destroyed, and those who don't got a problem with it gonna be destroyed too. And I got one more. So now we'll type that word in. Well, I know it's that. We're gonna go to Jude real quick. Y'all think, ooh, y'all think the Heavenly Father, y'all think he a joke? Y'all think the Heavenly Father and his son is some jokes, huh? You better let, you better. These smile, man, I swear to boy, I can't wait till this internet era is done. This picture taking ass planet and video. I can't wait till all this shit is over. Y'all think because you got these fancy photos, you got these clothes on, you're smiling. You got money in the bank. You think this is the good life. This is love. See, you think this is love. You think this is love? You about to, you about to find out what love is. Love is the keep, keeping of the commandments of Yahweh. So what is so what, what is commanded to do with these type of people? They're commanded to be destroyed. So what's going to happen? You, yeah. That love is going to be displayed upon you. Your destruction to fix the nation of Israel. The heavenly Father is going to let his love shine down upon us in his wrath and fury. He loves us so much, he's going to destroy the wickedness away from us. And I didn't even mean for this video to be that long. Y'all think this is a joke. You see how happy she is? Fuck fuck BG, right? You see you see how happy she is? Chest out with the shoulder pads on. Because women don't have strong shoulders naturally. So they have to insert those to have their shoulders look broader compared to a man. Who we naturally have broader shoulder, but you you see how happy she is. When has the last time you seen a black woman smile so bright next to a black man? You see. Oh oh, that judgment is coming. You see, every ten every other post, she's happy. They love it. This is love. This is love, eh? Hey, Salaki, y'all. I just pulled it. I'm getting my tire changed, man. But she's, she's, y'all see what's going on here, man. Y'all see what's going on here, man. You are my world, baby. You ain't never seen a heterosexual Negro couple this happy. That's how you know it's Satan fueling it. It's Satan in the mix. Let's get this one, man. I want to watch the world burn. And I have no problems. You know what, y'all? There's that song. <laughs> there's this song from there's this lyric from this song right uh in the song the nigga say he said all, all i want to do is watch the world burn quietly all right and that's the point i'm at now with it i want to sit on a high top perch which lord willing you know the chariot right obviously uh, uh revelation 15 and 2 i want to sit and watch the wickedness be dissolved in the flames of righteousness Amazing. All right. Jude 1 and 7. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. So that land is permanently marred and destroyed by the flames that overtook it because of the wickedness of the inhabitants that are walking across it. You know, so that's about it. That's about it, man. These people, they're going to learn the hard way. They think everything's a joke. And here, these are the same. Ah, oh, Nick, you niggas broke. You just mad because you broke. That's why you can't get a bitch. Okay, okay. 
when society collapse, when there's no more running water, when there's no more niggas to take your Instagram photos, when there's no more internet, when there's no more cable television, when there's no more vehicles, when there's no more, you know, readily available food, we're going to see who's fucking laughing. And we're going to see if this is still love. All right. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakodash, the wanders to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations. Tall intellect, Akim wa Akwath. Learning and teaching the truth and sincerity. Shalom.